It's important to be involved in Global Goals because everyone should do their part. There are so many different things that we should do and uh, we should all come together to talk about these things. It's nice to feel like you can use your skill sets to actually affect change. It's very important for me to do this project because of the huge global scale that this design could make an impact on. Poverty is such a big problem within the world. The process for me was more about having a human identity. I wanted the typographic styles to be more crafted by hand. The idea is to eradicate the word poverty by using fingerprints. So basically, the more you use fingerprints, it will eventually delete the word poverty. The contribution that I made, as well as 16 other designers, is for a great cause, and I was very pleased to be a part of it. The goal of zero hunger is important because it's obscene that half the world has an abundance of food and suffers from obesity where a large amount of people in the world are in extreme poverty and hunger. I didn't want to just make an illustration like this is someone who's hungry. I mean, it doesn't really tell us anything. I want it to say something about the issue and I want people to be able to look at it and question things in the poster that will lead them to question the actual issue as a whole. Good health, it's important to everybody. That's the reason why we chose this goal. Our poster symbolizes healthiness by illustrating a heart. We chose a bright color palette that also symbolizes happiness, that is well-being at the same time. We just wanted to do something very direct and simple, understood for everybody. I believe education is the path for any other solution. With education and knowledge, we can achieve better food, better equality, better energy, better society. I had this idea about the apple that represents knowledge. In my mind, was it that if everybody has that fruit, they can have access to knowledge. I think with this project what was really lovely was to be able to do what we do but to do it for something that's very kind of very meaningful and has an impact on social issues. The idea was to make people focus on the image to try to understand what's happening and people they don't know if it's a male or female but at the end it doesn't really matter it's just a human face and it just shows that we're all equal. It was important for me to be part of this project because it gave me a chance to communicate through my own style and my own illustrations, you know, a really important goal. It made me think about nature and see how I could visually interpret that goal and see where I can take it. After working on this campaign, I'm definitely looking at water in a slightly different light. When we were thinking about the energy, we imagined it as a flow, as a kind of movement from one state into another one. So we were thinking of how to show this movement. And finally, we made the poster really bright and colorful to show our positive feeling about this topic. What we really wanted to consider was what people's kind of perceptions of diversity were. You know, it needs to be like a powerful message. In a way, it's got like a bit of a double meaning. If you've got an open mind, you can open your doors to, to more people. And if you are opening doors, then your portrayed as having an open mind. So it's about, you know, empowering those people who, who can make the changes. Changing the world isn't going to happen overnight. Spreading the word of the project is really important. And I think breaking it down into really easily digestible chunks is going to make the whole uh, process a lot more achievable. I think that the factories and the industry is one of the main sources of waste on our planet. And I think it's really important to improve industry with new technologies and more green production attitudes. As a base for the artwork, I used the words industry, innovation and infrastructure. And then I added the names of these new technologies. The main point is to make people fight the greed and selfishness inside themselves to make this goal happen. I 
think inequality is a big problem in the world today. You know, I'm actually a immigrant. You know, I came from another country, so I really felt attached to the goal. It's something that I've, I've been through. I really wanted to show how same hands are compensated in different ways. It just came from inside. You know, it was really nice piece to do. Cities are like these incredible hubs for ideas, creativity, but also commerce, science. I'm fascinated by the diversity as well as the fact that they're so dynamic. We need to make sure that we give fair opportunities to everybody. The engraving was actually a particular decision that was to inform the execution of sustainability. So instead of adding material to the paper, I wanted to reduce material of the paper to create the image. To engage with big topics, I thought this was a good opportunity to get a point across. I use words as part of my work. I think the words that I choose are as important as the design, if not more important. Think more, use less was, it was a very kind of immediate response. So it was really thinking about what you consume, what you produce, and trying to be careful about how you, you live your life. It was important for me to be involved in this project. I like to be part of the conversation and I think that you know this is stuff that we should all be thinking about. I think we both decided this was uh, an important goal that we'd like to illustrate through a piece of design work. There's quite a lot of different opinions around climate change but what they really boil down to is a number and that number in this case is four degrees you know that is the, the point at which it becomes detrimental to the earth and, and our ability to live within the earth. We want someone just to be able to look at it and kind of get it instantly. You know, you've got a sad face and you've got a four degrees Celsius, you know, really simple, really clean. I constantly use bold, colourful shapes in my work, uh, try to inject a strong sense of energy. It was very important for me because uh, I feel like art and design is very powerful and I feel like I should use it for a good reason. It's very really important for now and also for the future, for our next generation. Life on land was the goal that I chose and nature is the one thing that always comes back to me and is one thing I enjoy incorporating into my art the most. I wanted to merge the idea of technology and that information and how it can help to lead sustainable ecosystems and how it can work for our benefit. It's really nice to have that open brief with something that I hold very close to my heart, which is appreciating the landscapes we have. I always think it's important to give our time to things that we care about and believe in, and this felt to me like something I wanted to contribute. We use this tiger, which one of my sons drew, which is a multicolored tiger. It can represent all colors of the world coming together. Sometimes people think that it's through authoritarian methods that you create peace and uh, dictatorship even. And we believe that it's through equality and acceptance and diversity that we create a fair society. I choose this goal because it's good to make partnerships. We made this project in CGI. We make a, a complex system of hands uh, helping or connected each other. You can't work by yourself, but if you join forces, always is better. Changing the world is a complex thing. That's what's interesting about these goals. I think they all uh, connect to each other.